Wound care patients with venous insufficiency oftentimes present with ulcerative lesions. They present to the wound care center for care of their venous ulcer. These patients have options for the management of their venous hypertension and insufficiency. That is venous ablation. We can accomplish venous ablation using several methodologies. Laser therapy, thermal energy, or we can use a novel new technology and that is cyanoacrylate glue. One of the latest procedures to use glue therapy when treating venous insufficiency is called Venaseal. Venaseal therapy or using glue to treat venous insufficiency is a novel approach and it provides the patients with an option that has distinct advantages over either laser or radiofrequency heat ablation. A small puncture is made over the identified incompetent vein Access to that vessel is secured with a needle. A wire is then passed into the vessel, into the vein, and then we pass a transducer, an introducer into that vein to allow us access of the vessel. Following that, we introduce a catheter, and the catheter can be a laser catheter, a radiofrequency catheter, or the new cyanoacrylate glue catheter. The procedure is essentially the same when treating, except that we have to use tumescence, or it's a solution of saline and lidocaine, which is injected along the length of the catheter to prevent the patient from experiencing pain during both laser and radiofrequency treatments. When we use Venaseal, or gluing the vein, we don't have to use a tumescence. When we're using Venaseal, we simply treat a small segment of the vein by injecting a small aliquot of a cyanoacrylate glue. We then hold pressure on that vessel. Near the groin, pressure is held for about three minutes. And then we serially treat the vein, slowly backing that catheter out, treating small segments of the vein, holding pressure uh, for shorter periods of time, about 30 seconds. The entire vein is treated, the catheter is removed, and the patient is able to ambulate out of the procedure room, go home and continue their normal activities. In fact, many patients return to work after this procedure.